Good morning. This is Monday, October the 23rd, 2017. Reading from My Utmost for Its Highest by Oswald and Biddy Chambers. Not a bit of it. And the it is us, our prejudice, our opinion, our viewpoint. <laughs> Not a bit of it. 2 Corinthians 5.17 If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. The old man is dead. Not dying, dead. And sometimes dead things stink. We must move away from the dead. Our Lord never nurses our prejudices. He mortifies them, runs clean athwart them. We imagine that God has a special interest in our particular prejudices. We are quite sure that God will never deal with us as he has to deal with other people. God must deal with other people in a very stern way, but of course, he knows that my prejudices are all right. Someone said there is never a heaven with a little corner of hell in it. We have to learn not a bit of it. Instead of God being on the side of our prejudices, he is deliberately wiping them out. It is part of our moral education to have our prejudices run straight across by his providence and to watch how he does it. God pays no respect to anything we bring to him. There is only one thing God wants of us, and that is our unconditional surrender. When we are born again, the Holy Spirit begins to work his new creation in us, and there will come a time when there is not a bit of the old order left. The old solemnity goes, the old attitude to things go, and all things are of God. How are we going to get the life that has no lust, no self-interest, no sensitiveness to pokes, that love that is not provoked, that thinketh no evil, that is always kind. But what about those people who are close to us, who know what button to push and how to push them to cause us to despair? What about those people? The only way is by allowing not a bit of the old life to be left, by not letting the past rule our future, by not letting things that are past and dead and gone to be a roadblock to us. The only way is by allowing not a bit of the old life to be left, but only simple, perfect trust in God. Such trust that we no longer want God's blessings, but only want himself. Not things that God gives us, but God himself. We are such a consumer-driven society. We like stuff. We need to fall in love with Jesus again. Have we come to the place where God can withdraw his blessings and it does not affect our trust in him? When once we see God at work, we will never bother our heads about things that happen because we are actually trusting in our Father in heaven whom the world cannot see. Our Father knows all about it. The hymn, New to Me Again, is simply trusting every day. Sometimes we just have to simply trust moment by moment, like yesterday's song. Simply trusting every day, trusting through a stormy way, even when my faith is small, trusting Jesus, that is all, trusting
buzzing as the moments fly, trusting as the days go by, trusting him whatever befall, trusting Jesus that is all. Brightly does his spirit shine into this poor heart of mine. While he leads, I cannot fall, trusting Jesus and his all, trusting as the moments fly. Trusting as the days go by, trusting him, whatever he fall, trusting Jesus that is all. Singing in my way is clear, praying if the path be drear. If in danger for him call, trusting Jesus that is all, trusting as the moments fly, trusting as the days go by, trusting him whatever befall, Trusting Jesus that is all. Trusting Him while life shall last. Trusting Him till earth is past. Till His grace and hand when called. Trusting Jesus that is all. Trusting as the moments fly, trusting as the days go by, trusting him, whatever he fall, trusting Jesus that he is all. Can you trust him this moment? Can you trust him the next moment? few moments, just one moment at a time. Listen to this chorus. Trusting as the moments fly, trusting as the days go by, trusting him whatever befall, trusting Jesus that is all. Do you ever recall seeing a baby trust his or her mother? Who's holding the baby? The mama is. And what's the baby's job? To rest. To not struggle. To allow the holding to take place. Would the baby bring anything to the table as far as its faith? Yes, the baby has a faith that all things are well because mama is nearby. That's the way we must trust our Lord and Savior. He says, let not your heart be troubled. Now, our heart gets troubled very easily. Why is that? Because we are human. <laughs> Let yourself off the mat. Remember, we have to breathe in his peace and breathe out release. That's part of living. Being up, being down, our heart pumping blood out, our heart receiving blood. There's a rhythm to everything. And realize that he is not ever going to leave us nor forsake us. Trusting, putting your whole weight on him, letting the government be on his shoulders and our job is to minister that love to individuals around us one individual at a time one step
starfish at a time. Don't forget, Jesus loves me, this I know. And because he loves me, I can love those in my life to whom he blesses us with. Keep it simple today. In Jesus' name, amen.